Right, I couldn't let today go by without doing this video to pay uh, my respects and to send some strength and solidarity to Alex Belfield. I am a follower of Alex on, uh, on YouTube. I don't agree with everything he says. I agree with most he, he says. I think he's absolutely hilarious, but I massively, massively respect him. And I think he is so brave with what he does. Going into detail and specifics about the malevolence, the hypocrisy, and the downright duplicity and wickedness that we have in the establishment structures in our society. That takes balls of steel, particularly at a time like now, a time of oppression and tyranny and coercion. And obviously I don't know everything that is going on, but it is absolutely clear to me, it appears clear, that Alex is the victim of a horrific witch hunt against him. And for what? For what? For speaking some uncomfortable truths. Every so often, there comes a time when tyranny does descend and while the vast, vast majority do little or nothing, there is always a vanishingly small number of people who are willing to risk all, risk their sanity, their reputation, their career, their security, even their life in the name of doing what's right. I think Alex is one of those people. I think he's a national hero. And I think I get the impression there's almost a movement starting to coalesce around him as well. Alex, so many people have got your back. You know this. It is clear to see from reading all of the comments. We love you. We respect you. We think you're a hero. And I'm going to do a toast to you, Alex. And I hate this phrase, stay safe. I hate it. But in your case, Alex, stay safe, mate. Keep doing what you're doing. We're all right behind you. Absolutely love everything you stand for. And you've got this. You know you've got it. We know you've got it. And hang in there. Okay. See you later.